Hi, my name is Liz, and I'm a member of Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I was going to get dressed up to do this video, but I thought I would pull out my favorite Thrivent t-shirt because it says, live generously on it. And I think that that is very appropriate given the topic that I'm gonna to talk to you about. I'm here to talk to you about our stewardship campaign for this year because of God's great mercy. As we begin Holy Week, the theme of this stewardship campaign, it really resonates with me. I'm reminded of 1 Corinthians chapter one. Everything that we have comes from God by way of Jesus Christ. When I think of all the blessings God has given me, I immediately think of my family. I think of my wonderful husband, and I think of my incredible daughter. Being Jolene's mom is the greatest blessing that God has ever given me. Since the pandemic started, one of my favorite activities to do with Jolene is attend virtual Sunday school. She absolutely loves it. She gets so excited to see her teachers and they do a terrific job making really engaging lessons for the kids. Jolene also loves it because she likes to see all of her Sunday school friends. And take it from me, I am still close with my Sunday school friends 25 years later. As I sit there on the Zoom call and I look out at everybody, I'm amazed because I get to see the future of our church. I see Alana and Loudon confidently answering questions. I see Jack sitting there looking up and admiring his sister Abigail. I see Paul snuggled next to Katie and listening to all of the stories. And I'm seeing Jolene learn how to pray. And she's even started saying, thank you, God during our bedtime prayers. These beautiful children are God's children. They're the next generation who will go out in the world and spread his teachings. That to me is my motivation for getting involved in this stewardship campaign. And I invite you to think about what your motivation is. Is it our food pantry? Is it our ministry with the men's shelter meal? Or is it the way that we are reaching so many people through our YouTube channel and our virtual ministry? Really stop and think about it. While I might not be able to contribute as much as I'd like to our church, I know that any gift can make a difference in the life of our congregation. For many of us, money is tight right now. So I invite you to get creative. Think of small sacrifices that you can make so that you can contribute more to our church and make sure that you're giving consistently. For me, I used to buy my lunch every single day because I figured I'm a working mom, I'm really tired, and this is convenient. But now I'm going to pack my lunch every day. I'm going to make that sacrifice. And while I might not be crazy about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I'm going to do that and use that additional money to contribute to the life of our congregation. I ask that this week you pray and think about what sacrifice you could make to contribute to our congregation. I also want you to think about all of the sacrifices that God has made for us. He gave his only son so our sins would be forgiven. I think that I can live with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. In the mail this week, you'll receive a letter with a commitment card. We ask that you use this card to indicate your giving commitment for the coming year. There's also an area on the card where you can update your contact information for the church's records. Please look for this letter in the mail and respond with your giving commitment. And remember that your gift will remain confidential and that information will only be shared with our financial secretary. Again, I ask you to prayfully think about what your motivation is to contribute. Thank you so much and may God bless you.